Ladies and germs, let's take a trip back in time to uh, 2008 slash 2009 and even into 2012, they were still uh, repeating this. You remember when progressives were repeating, we can't drill our way to lower gas prices. And Michelle Bachman was subjected to nuclear heat for suggesting that we would have $2 gas. I think this glut of current glut of fossil fuel slash hydrocarbon production can officially lay to waste the progressive eco kook prediction that we cannot drill our way to lower gas prices or fuel prices. Back in 2008 and in, in ensuing years, progressives predicted they would block any and all expansions of hydrocarbon exploration and then declare that we cannot drill our way to der lower gas prices, except we have and we did, and long before many state governments shut down half their economy, causing demand to crash. That doesn't mean that unrest in the Middle East, which we need to get out of, won't have an effect or that there won't be some volatility, and I surmise any burp and oil prices will be called volatility to make the prediction correct. That doesn't mean there won't be some volatility in the market of Saudi Arabia, Arabia drastically reduces their output or Venezuela sinks into the 10th level of Hades, but massive expansions of fracking have reduced pain at the pump and lower gas, natural gas prices to heat your home in winter. My life is a lot better since I drive a lot, and I thank all those wonderful, wonderful oil and gas industries and their employees. The progressive eco kooks liked to autistically repeat, it'll take 10 years or five years or whatever number they're pulling from their rear end. It'll take 10 years for this to have an effect on prices and then work to block any expansion, as I mentioned before, of hydrocarbon exploration, making it a self-fulfilling prophecy. Anyways, put that in the dustbin of eco kook axioms that have been debunked. If one adjusts for inflation, then the just over $2 a gallon we were paying in 2016 would have been below $2 a gallon in 2008 dollars. Progressive eco kooks, and I've got, check, all, check the link underneath the video, I've documented all this. Progressive eco kooks like to repeat ambiguous statements like, we already drilling like crazy, or whatever, whatever that means. I guess the fracking boom took us from drilling like crazy to drilling like crazy at ludicrous speed a la Spaceballs. Another silly argument progressives employ is that saying the U.S. is beholden to international conditions, and that is partially true, but does that mean you throw up your hands and say, derp, we will do nothing? You could literally say that to any country. Saudi Arabia is beholden to international conditions, so they must, <laughs> must as well, might as well never increase their output. So is Russia, Venezuela, Canada, Nigeria, Israel, or anyone else. It's a dumb argument. Somehow, amid the screeching about drilling not lowering our gas prices, the U.S. has massively increased its output in the last six years, as well as other entities. And keep in mind, I am not covering any gas prices in the COVID-19 time frame. So the U.S. and several other entities have increased or kept at the same standard they were, excuse me, I hit the mic, uh, their output. And guess what? Gas prices, according to the EIA, from 2016 to 2019, averaged $2.47 a gallon. The 2012 to 2015 average was $3.23 a gallon. $2.47 a gallon versus $3.23 a gallon, each four-year time frames. I think that counts as lower prices. That's a lot more money in the pocket of folks like myself who drive to work every day and can now save more for retirement outside of that Ponzi scheme called Social Security. Uh, another thing progressives, and I forgot to write this down, mention is they talk about volatility because of speculation. However, in one of my articles, I, I covered uh, prices of onions and steel in markets that aren't subject to speculation, yet they had massive price swings. So speculation is a scapegoat they will also bring up but uh, no dice. So anyways, if the progressive argument that was repeated a lot from 2008 to 2012 that we cannot lower gas prices, we can't drill our way to lower gas prices, huh? guess what? Uh, that one, they don't talk about it much anymore because it's completely false. They were completely wrong again. Another eco-kook failure. Have a nice day and don't thank me now for the info.